everybody, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox. Now, today's video is a very exciting one, or I hope it's going to be a very exciting one. So I was in the car the other day, and this idea popped in my head, and I went through all the steps. Whenever a DIY idea pops in my head, I go through like every single step in my head to see if it's like doable or not, and it was super doable in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, this could be a really amazing DIY, and it was for this large scale like faux tree for your home, because if you guys don't know, if you purchase large faux trees, they are extremely expensive. I'm gonna pop some up on the screen right here. They're like upwards of 600 to to $1,000. So I had this idea pop in my head and then I went on YouTube and realized that it has been done so many times before. So I must have seen this in like my subconscious or something and then, or like kept it there, you know, and then remembered it later. So many of my favorite creators have done tutorials like this before. We have Jenna Sue Design on Instagram. I love her. Emily Faith has done one. Valerie Aguiar here on YouTube has also done one. There's quite a few people that have done them. I'm gonna link their tutorial below as well but I figured today I would do my own take on a DIY faux tree and you guys believe it or not this tree actually costs a fraction of the price of a real one I think we're gonna be able to create this for under $50 which is insane and one last thing before jumping in I do want to mention that I'm hosting a little giveaway over on my store's Instagram page so I just actually created an Instagram for my shop it is shop Lone Fox I'll put it right here for you guys and I'm giving away 10 $100 gift cards to absolutely anybody in the world World, open 100% worldwide and there are 10 chances to win a gift card. So if you guys like to go ahead and enter that, just head on over to Shop Lone Fox on Instagram. All you have to do is follow the account and find this photo on the feed and just leave a comment on it and that is your entry to the giveaway. But let's go ahead and see if I can pull off a DIY faux tree. So the first thing you're gonna wanna decide is what tree you wanna make. And there's a lot of different types of trees. So we have an olive tree, this is a Milan leaf tree. There's also oak trees. And then I feel like one of the most common types of trees is a ficus tree. And lastly, a fiddle leaf fig tree. Now, of course, there's more than this, but those are the main ones. And then once you decide on a style, we're gonna need to gather the supplies. Now here is a supply list for you to screenshot and we're gonna jump into the process. I am outside of my apartment and I have this large tree in the front yard that looks like this. It's literally all sticks. It's always looked like this since moving into the space and I'm going to steal a branch from it. I don't think it's going to be too sad if I take one. I'm gonna cut one of those off just using a little handsaw and head back inside so that we can work on the next process. <laughs> All right, guys, these are my foraged branches from outside. Um, this left one here is going to act more so as my base. Now, all of the people that I watched videos of, they were able to find really great branches to use for the entire tree. I myself couldn't. So I found this one too, which has lots of sticky bits to it, small little sticky options. And I think I'm gonna have to do some modifications to our base here. The largest stick that I found is this which is pretty tall as you guys can see it's probably like two feet taller than me so right now it's about eight feet and we have a great pretty straight base as well but I do think it's just a little bit too tall for my apartment so I'm gonna cut it down maybe like six to nine inches I'd say and then we're gonna be adding the other branches onto it so I'm gonna cut that down before the cement <laughs> Once your sticks have been found, we're gonna to want to actually cement our base stick into a bucket. So whether this is your full on stick that you're gonna be using, or if you're gonna be adding to your kind of base stick that you're starting out with, you're going to want to create a bucket full of cement. Now you could actually use the bucket that the cement comes in and I'll link below the exact one that I use. I always buy the same exact cement. It's pre-sifted, it's a 20 pound bucket and it's like $25. So I mixed about half of that into a separate bucket with some water and then just put my branch inside and use some tape to just hold it in place and smooth it out uh, while it cures for about an hour and a half. All right guys, so I removed the wall art just so you can see the process a little bit better or more I dropped it on the ground. And our main stick or our main kind of branch here has been cemented into our bucket. So it's looking like that. I drilled a hole into our base here and I cut our other stick. And 
I'm going to be connecting them together <laughs> like that. So yes, essentially we are doing some trial and error to create a tree shape and I'm using drill bits and hot glue to attach my different tree pieces together. Don't let this process intimidate you. If you cannot find a branch large enough to use as a tree base itself, you could totally create your own. That's exactly what I did. I literally elevated it in height and I also made it wider by adding branches on the left and right sides. You're just going to want to make sure that it's full enough to where when you have all of your leaves added, it kind of fills it in. So try to make sure that you have a branch going in a lot of different directions so there's lots of areas to apply leaves to. So I created this base for our tree. Now, a lot of people on YouTube or the tutorials that I've seen, they've just found tree shapes that look like this already, which is so lucky, but in Los Angeles, hard to come by something like this. So I was able to make it with just two sticks. So guys, I picked these up at Michael's and I got two different kinds. So the first one is just this like ficus tree greenery and each one of these stems was $1.99 and they were having a sale 50% off of florals. So they were a dollar each, which is such a good deal. And these are exactly kind of what I'm going for. And then I also ended up grabbing just two of these. These were a bit more expensive. I think they were like $8.99 a piece. Yeah, they were. And they're just a little bit of a different style of ficus leaf, I believe, but I thought kind of adding this leaf in there as well would be quite nice. It's now time to give this tree some life. So I'm starting off by cutting my branches down to little sections of three like this. I also did go ahead and use some larger sections as well, but I primarily used the smaller sections of three and some hot glue. I used Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks for this project, and I honestly felt like this worked really nice. Um, I saw a lot of tutorials where they were actually drilling every single leaf into the tree. And while that's probably really great and reinforces it, I just don't have the time for that. So I used the hot glue gun and and I think it works great. I love the way that it turned out. It seems to be holding them all really nicely. And of course, this greenery is extremely lightweight. And also guys, keep in mind, I saw a lot of people actually go to thrift stores and look for old trees. And then they just pulled the greenery off those old trees to utilize on their new one. Checking in with you so far. So this is the status of the tree. It is looking pretty good. So I've been adding the little clusters of leaves on in kind of like these little sections of three. And the reason I added a lot of those other branches because they're super, super, I'm calling it sticky. That's what I keep calling it. There's just lots of branches and smaller little twigs kind of sticking off, which allows you to add on a lot with these little like triple leaf sections to those areas. But so far it's honestly looking really, really nice. I love the shape that I came up with for it. And as I'm adding more, I'm kind of realizing where I need to place more to kind of offset them. And overall, I hope in the end, it's going to kind of even itself out, but we're gonna continue on with the process. It's very, very easy. It's honestly kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see what it looks like in the end. So the middle section here is kind of like this big open sparse area. So I'm actually gonna use an entire branch. I just bent it up in a ton of different ways and literally gonna glue this here to fill in that whole gap. Keep that in mind too. You don't have to cut everything up. If you need larger sections, you can totally use the stem itself. Always remember you can always add or subtract from your tree so if you feel like you need more branches here or there just head outside grab a couple more sticks and add them into your tree to create the fullness or desired outcome you're looking for guys how does this tree look like this? I cannot believe this looks like this. I actually just tried bringing it downstairs to give a little spritz of spray paint and it was not working. Okay, I don't know why I do this to myself, you guys, but I'm trying to bring my tree outside now to give it a little spray paint. And it, oh my gosh, pieces are flying off. If you guys remember when I added the uh, kind of brownish tone spray paint, I added the tiniest bit onto this leaf here. I thought it would be nice to just kind of make the depth of the tree a little bit more darker, but I'm just gonna leave it natural like this. I think it looks really great and the shape of it actually is super, super fun. I love how it just has this organic kind of free flowing shape, which is also something that's great about making your own tree is you could totally create the shape you want to fit your space. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually transfer this over to where my olive tree currently is because I want this one to take its place.
cooked. I'm gonna head to Joanne's and actually get some moss and put it in the pot so we can see what the finished tree looks like. Once you add your moss, you have your finished tree. So I just got finished going through the edit for the tree video and I wanted to add one more project to the video. It just didn't feel full enough to me and I had another concept in my head that I saw from a TV show actually. Let me give you a little bit of a backstory on this. So if you've ever seen those incredible designed homes that have the really big kind of organic, very branchy, like vases filled with just stems going everywhere, I always think it looks so unique. It adds this kind of just an organic look to the space. I love it. It also is really great to fill in large areas. So if you need like a really large scalable piece, it's really easy to do that with large branches. However, I always wondered where these designers got these branches. Like where are they buying these perfectly humongous like different sections and adding them in this pot? Where are they getting them? That was the real question. So when I came across homework on the Magnolia Network, there was a DIY that Candace from the show actually did in the uh, series, and it was incredible. She shared with you how to create these kind of styling branches from just branches outside. So I went ahead and went outside and got some of these branches off of a tree in the backyard. For additional supplies, all you're going to need is a hot glue gun with some hot glue sticks, and then an additional stem. So this one here, I believe Crate and Barrel sent me this a long time ago, but I only got sent one of these stems and so I always never really used it for anything because it wasn't full enough you know so I'm gonna actually turn it into multiple stems and utilize the leaves off of this one and add it to our sticks so we're gonna start working on making them so what I'm gonna do is actually just cut off some of the leaves and you can go ahead and opt to leave some of the stem if you'd like to or you can just cut it off all in all and I'm gonna leave some of the stems for some of them and then cut some of them pretty close to the leaf as well we have a bunch of our leaves cut, and now I'm gonna probably use some of the smaller ones towards the top. And where the twig kind of has like a bend in it, where it kind of bends from just its natural growth, I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little leaf stem right in that bend section. So it kind of looks like it's growing right out of it. Our first little leaf is added on, it's looking really cute. And then I'm gonna work my way down and probably add maybe another one on, let's just say right about there. Also, one of my biggest tips when using hot glue and you want it to dry quicker is you're going to take the hot glue and add a little dollop like right on the end of your leaf. And this works for any project. So I'm gonna add the tiniest bit right on the end there. Find where I wanna put it. And I'm gonna place it in that spot and just kind of move it in and out. It's gonna cool down your glue. It exposes it to more air and it just cools it down so much quicker. You could probably like honestly reduce it by five times the amount that you would have to hold it normally. See, it's pretty much almost dry. that I love about this project and the tree as well is that we do use real stems to create both so it really does look super real because they are real stems but then the leaves added are fake but you can barely tell because it's just such a natural looking piece which is really nice because it gives you that realistic look. So all of our branches are created and let's go put them in a pot so I can share with you guys what they look like. I hope that 
you guys loved today's video and if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you guys are not already there is actually 60 percent of viewers on this channel that are not subscribed so if you are not subscribed click that subscribe button and also make sure to tap the bell icon next to it that way you are notified when i upload brand new videos and that is all for today you guys don't forget to also enter the giveaway over on the shop lone fox instagram account and you can also follow me on instagram and tiktok both at lone fox home i will catch you guys in my next one have an amazing rest of your day bye guys